Well, we've been trying to find her all day. We've been all around Gross Point Park and parts of Detroit trying to find her. Her name is Rachel, and she sure seems to be laying low right now and out of the spotlight. Take a look behind me here. She rents the upstairs flat here, and she even gave Bob Bashara's name as a reference when she moved in about a year ago. She was an absolutely wonderful tenant, paid on time, very nice to deal with, clean. Uh, she had a good job down at Wayne State. I mean, it was all you could ask for. Phyllis Huxley is talking about a 50-year-old woman named Rachel, a woman Action News has learned was having an affair with Bob Bashara, who is now under investigation after his wife of 26 years, Jane Bashara, was found strangled. Bob's mistress, Rachel, rented the upper flat in his house in Gross Point Park, and Huxley, who rented to Rachel, has seen them together. I knew that uh, uh, Bob Bashara was over there quite a bit and uh, I did I never knew what his status was married unmarried or what I thought they were friends at first Bob and um, H Rachel because he did things for her he used to take her elderly dog for a walk during the day that kind of thing and soon after Bob's mistress Rachel talked to police investigating Jane Bashara's killing we're told she may have packed up to get away your lower tenant said that Rachel took off it uh, last week after she talked to police yeah either that day or the next day I'm wondering is she gonna come back or what I don't know I'm I'm very sad about the whole thing and we've uncovered records showing that before moving here to Gross Point Park here to this upper flat here, Rachel lived in a Mac Avenue apartment owned by Bob Bashara, also here in Gross Point Park. And we should also point out, Stephen and Diana, that Rachel's name has never come up as anyone suspected of being involved in the murder of Jane Bashara. Police just wanted to talk to her, and apparently they have right now. We'll certainly stay on top of this. Reporting now in Gross Point Park, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Yeah. Back to you. Yeah, Kim, you said, uh, Kim, you said this Rachel uh, kind of vanished uh, last week after this murder. Uh, did she pack up everything, like the furniture and everything, or are there signs she might come back? Well, that's what her landlord says, that she was told by the person living in the lower flat that she packed up and moved out. But there are conflicting reports on whether somebody has seen some activity in that upstairs flat right now. So it's unclear if maybe she's just gone to stay with a friend or some relative nearby, and she may still have some things right now over here at this upper flat over here. As you know, it's certainly hard for somebody to pack up and move everything they own just overnight. Back to you. All right, Kim, thank you very much for the live report.